What's going on here? Is this thing working? Is it working? I don't know. Is it dead, Jim? We'd better find out, shouldn't we? Oh boy. Alright. What? Let's try that again, yeah? Boom. Stop it. Oh, oh. Ooh, you're noisy. Shut up. <laughs> Wicked awesome. Hello. Did I break the thing? Uh, I can't tell. Why? Why? What's going on? Oh, 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 there we go. There we go. All right. Hello. There. Okay, that's better. Cool. I don't know why it always takes so freaking long for my phone to be like, Oh, yeah, hey, uh, you're actually live. Oh, my gosh. All right. Nobody's really here yet, but that's okay. I'm just going to go ahead and post in my Twitter. And then we can get this started. Okay. Typing, typing, typing. <laughs> all right, there we go. That's it, that's all. What's going on here? Try that again. Ooh, ooh, ooh. There we go. That's better. Okay. Okay, let's get this started. Welcome everybody to another Tuesday Night Stellaris Console Edition stream with me, Mobius Y. Uh, <laughs> I know nobody's really here yet, but that's fine. Uh, so today we had the Plantoids be released. First little piece of DLC available for Stellaris Console Edition. So essentially what this does is adds an entire new phenotype, uh, make, allowing you to create new empires that basically are plant-based, essentially sentient trees and whatnot. So what we're going to do... Oh, what did I... Oh, okay, it's back to the... Okay, that's good. I thought it... Oof, I got all worried for a second there. Essentially what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at what the new species portraits look like, what the ships look like, and just the, just the general aesthetic customization that, uh, that this little species pack adds. That's pretty much all it brings to the game. Nothing, sig nothing truly significant like changing gameplay mechanics or, um, or anything of that sort. 
uh, but it's still pretty cool. It just offers more customization, which is always really, which is always really nice. So let's take a look. Did it add? Did it add a pre-made plantoid species? It was said on stream that it's supposed to, but I don't see one. I don't see one, so we're gonna have to make one, which is fine. Um, okay, so let's take a look at this. We'll probably spend. I don't really want to spend more than, I want to say, maybe a half hour uh, looking at this stuff. It probably won't take that long, to be totally honest. But I also want to jump into a game to look at things like the ship design on a couple on a couple things as well. Uh, so we're going to create a new empire. So we're going to go with appearance. Let's go to Plantoid. And they said there were 15 portraits available. I would say that's about correct. There's 612 and another 315. Yeah. 15 new portraits available, and some of them are freaky deaky looking, just glancing at this. What is that? Oh. That's more, that's a more bipedal plant kind of thing. Very Star Trekian, you know, because everything in Star Trek is just like a, just like a human, just, you know, very different, <laughs> just very different cranial ridges. Um, I, oh, I can picture the flower in my head that this thing looks like, but the name is not coming to me. But it looks like a cross between a praying mantis and some kind of, uh, oh, what is it? It's, uh, I can't think of the name right now. I can't, Urgh. normally it would come to me. <laughs> Here we go. Sentient Venus Flytrap. There you go. That's a that's a good one to pick. Yeah, we're actually like super pacifist, you know. We're pretty chill to hang out with. You got some pot? <laughs> I don't even know what to make of this one. There's clearly some kind of. Uh... I mean, I don't think those are even eyes on the front. They're just kind of a glowing bit. All right, this one's creepy. This is like a cactus dragon, kind of sort of thing. That yeah, that's <laughs> that's pretty good though. Some of the uh, the design of some of these non-humanoid species and whatnot is is really well done so i mean like seriously props to the paradox team for coming up with some of these alien designs like they look really cool that one's kind of interesting this one i is very very interesting those almost look like stones stuck in the side of it can't really decide what to make of that this one also has eyes there's not many of them that have had eyes so far this guy had eyes and i think that's about it so what's this one? Uh, this one looks like he's got mandibles with a little tiny mouth, and I don't know if those are eyes on the top, but they're little tentacle feelers apparently. Maybe those are just to the antennae. Here, here's the sentient space radish that I heard mentioned on the Paradox stream today. That was mentioned. <laughs> it, that one looks pretty good. Uh, this one, this is this looks like a tree. This is a sentient tree. <laughs> I don't know what to make of that one. It's kind of... Well, kind of like this one, just a different kind of flower almost, I suppose. Different body style, obviously. A lot less like a praying mantis. Sentient cabbage. That's what comes to mind when I look at this guy. <laughs> Welcome, we are the spacefaring cabbage. We really hate those lettuce bastards. I hope you're not allied with them. <laughs> and this one, I don't even know. You know what? This uh, this makes me think of one of those monsters in Magic the Gathering. Uh, Kozilek, Ulamog, Imrakul. Those are the names of them, but I forget what they're called. The Eldrazi, that's it. The, this one reminds me of Eldrazi creatures from Magic the Gathering. Yeah, I just franchise dropped in another fucking game. I know. I'm a bad person. Um, but yeah, so... Okay, so these these portraits do look pretty dang cool. Really, really well done. Um, so what we're going to do here... Like I said, I'm just going to set up an Empire. We'll do the Venus Ply Trap one just for the hell of it. Uh, just quickly set... Sure, that'll work. Name lists. Um, uh, we'll just... Uh, we'll affix every ship with D-E-R-P because that sounds legit. And then we've already got, uh, we already had plantoid name lists in the game before we had the plantoid species pack come out. So 
Whirling Corolla. Burgeoning Corolla. <laughs> Flourishing Bouquet. Whirling Bouquet. Flower of Ashvatha. Orange Cone. Planet names Gold Grass Leafy. So, okay, we're, we're good. That's perfect. Um, so let's pick a couple random... Uh, Couple of random traits. Let's just go with Agrarian for the hell of it. Why not? Uh, do they have different appearances depending on their sex? No, they do not. Which is fine. Khaki, khaki Nectar! Khaki Nectar! There you go! That's, uh, yeah. We'll, we're we're going to stick with that. Um, the colors of the Venus flytrap. Let's, uh... Where was that weird one? That kind of bluish one. One of these. There we go. Let's go with that. Okay, so uh, there should be different rooms as well. Different aesthetic backgrounds to choose from. I don't really see any. 19. It seems like I'm pretty sure there was 19 previously. But, uh, you know. I could double check that from a previous stream. Um, ruler name. Or... Let's uh, not do anything too crazy here. Ruler, ruler title, Derpet. Yeah, why not? Okay, name and class. Lavis Prime. Lav, starting solar system. Random. Yep, definitely. Uh, let's put them on a tropical world because why not? City appearance. Ooh, there's the plantoid city option. So we've still got the arthropoid, molluscoid, and so on. Plantoid. Oh, that does look very... Very unique from the other ones, definitely. I still like the look of the alien cities uh, uh, quite a bit, but that's just me. Um, see, the plantoid and the fungoid, they have pretty similar appearances in, in a couple areas, but there's some definite, there's some definite differences. So there are some definite differences. Uh, they're pretty obvious. Uh, so we'll go with that. Uh, let's see, what do we got here? Um, we're going to go with uh, Egalitarian and uh, what's another one? Fanatic Spiritualist, because why the hell not? Whatever. Um, on second thought, you know what? Uh, I want to... Here's what I want to do. I want to try and research... Uh, uh, the What's it called? I want to try and research... Uh, bigger ships as quickly as possible while we dick around with this new setting. So we're going to uh, let's take a look see here. We'll go with uh, technocracy and uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. what's another good one? Huh. Uh, I don't even know. Uh, we'll go with that. Um, so, you know what we're going to do is we're going to change the traits a little bit. Uh, we're going to do this, um, like I've done it before, uh, intelligent, natural engineers, and then let's pick something to offset that. We'll go with... Uh... No, not weak. We'll go with... We'll go with sedentary. Um, so that'll work. Okay, so ship starting weapons... Uh, we'll just stick with the energy weapons ship appearance. Plantoid ship don't, doesn't really have a good photo from this view. So once we get in the game, that should be uh, that should be better. We should be able to get a good look at things like our science ship and our construction ship. Uh, and uh, yeah, oh, I forgot to totally Concordat Concordat of Lav. Uh, yeah, sure, we'll go with that. Let's change the color a little bit. Yeah, let's make a purple. I don't think there's any purple empires. <laughs> In the game. Or at least in my game right now. I'm sure plenty of other people have some. Uh, do, 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 do. Pirate. Yeah, legit. Let's go with that one. Okay. Summary. Let's uh, confirm. Do you wish to proceed? Yes. We're going to do a very... Oops. We're going to do a... Um, ring Galaxy? 150 stars and we'll just have one AI empire we'll crank up those habitable worlds uh, difficulty normal empire placement random advanced neighbors off endgame crises off Iron Man mode off 
Uh, okay, so uh, that'll do it. We'll jump into this really quick so we can get a good look at at the plantoid ships. Oh, excuse me. Uh, I don't even know what the hell kind of government we picked. I forgot to do that. Uh, so let's see. What do our ships look like? That's the Corvettes, and that is... That's the... Oh, goodness, excuse me. That's the spaceport. Um, <laughs> oh, sorry about that. A very planty spaceport, let me tell you. Um, as the, this is the science ship? Neat. Okay, very different, very different. Uh, it'd be, of course, it'd be easier if we just go into a ship designer, I suppose, huh? We'll do that. Okay, so go to ship designer. That's what the Corvettes look like. Huh, okay. So I'm guessing the general design of plantoid ships is they have these weird, um, these weird leafy, I'm guessing they're like solar sails or something sticking out the sides on a lot of them. Like the construction ship that has it, as you can see, sticking out the bottom there. That one looks neat. The, <laughs> the twig class colony ship. Uh, yeah, colony ship has a lot of those. And just like the spaceport, it's got one of those kind of biodome things on the top that you can see inside. Uh, there's the science ship. Very, it's got that, it's got like a flower bulb on the front with, again, the same leafy protrusions out the back and there's the transport ship so yeah very very bulky kind of like uh, mammalian and arthropod but also it has all these little protrusions sticking out like I figured okay so that's, that is kind of neat I would like to see what uh, uh, this planet is called leafy are you kidding me really <laughs> Planet is called Leafy. All right, uh, Clover Bed. Yeah, there you go. Um, what's this planet called? Lav Lavis Primus. Future is the name of the gas giant, and Trunk Site is the name of its moon. Seems legit. Bulb is over there, and then we've got Lav. Okay, seems legit. What else do we got? Interesting. Okay, so. <laughs> Just the planets within our home system have interesting names. That's pretty cool. Um, okay, so uh, let's go ahead and we need to start engineering research. So let's go with um, geothermal fracking. And then for this one, we'll do uh, planetary unification. And we'll want the solar panel network on this one. Man, look at those research times. That's crazy. I forgot how long it takes to research stuff early in the game. I'm at the point in the game where it takes about this long to research some kind of a repeatable, like improve my shield strength. Some of my repeatables I've done so many friggin' times, though, that it's taking 10 years to get the next upgrade. So, uh, okay, let's go ahead and uh, speed up time. Okay, science ship, where are you? Uh, science ship. You are going to start by surveying our home system, and then you're going to survey over here, and then you're going to survey over here. Perfect. Why is this zooming in so slow? Why is it doing that? Hang on. I need to go to options. Settings. Uh, camera rotations and panning sensitivity. I can up those just a little bit, I think. Auto save tutorial. Uh, yeah. We'll go with that. So what have we got? The Concordat of Lav. We're way down here in the south part of this galaxy. Remind me not to spend too much time on this. It's easy to be like, oh, yeah, we're just going to dick around and look at the new stuff. 
and then lose track of time and be like, oh, geez, we wound up playing the crap that I don't want to actually play for like two hours. <laughs> it's not what I want to do here. Oh, excuse me. All right, what do we, what do we got going on here? Uh, let's clear this tile blocker because it's got an engineering point on it. Maybe we can uh, get some engineering research and get a destroyer. So we can take a look at what destroyers look like. Fingers crossed. Look at our beautiful home planet. Cleared. Good. Okay, so let's build a science lab there. I think the music in this game is one of the better parts of it. Hands down. Yeah, let's take a look at how our the lab system has been fully surveyed. Okay. Excuse me. I don't know what the hell my problem is. I'm all stuffy for no reason. The discovery of alien life. Okay, you know what? Let's go. We're gonna quit out of this. Exit to menu. Confirm. And uh, I'm actually going to. Uh, whoops. Delete all. Delete the concordant of lab saved game. Confirm. Okay. Uh, so I'm gonna actually delete this as well. Boink. Delete the concordant of lab. And uh, let's get back to our Suthari Empire. Let's get back to the Stream Empire that we were playing last time. Um, I'll be honest, I've totally lost track of what the hell I was doing with these guys from last week. And I probably won't remember when I come back three weeks from now to stream again after my after my uh, holidays. So, we'll see. It'd be cool to stream the Zaxo and Collective because they're, I'm, as you can see, I'm over 300 years in with this. Uh, with this group and my uh, my fleet power is 1120 right now and I have 55 planets so it would be cool to play with that but that's uh, currently that is just my single player you know play it play it off stream to like earn achievements and stuff like that but anyways it's almost 730 so I'm gonna stream here uh, tonight's gonna have to be cut short because I gotta go into work early tomorrow so I'm only gonna stream for probably about another 45 minutes or so till about 815 my time So, uh, yeah, I'm not too I'm not too keen on uh, taking off so early after such a short time on stream, uh, but it's gonna have to be done. Uh, let's see, what do we got? What do I have for ships designed? I have, oh, I'm just using auto-built ships right now. Okay, um, I have a couple cruisers. Oh, excuse me. I have a couple cruisers made. Let's take a look at what this fleet truly really entails. We've got six cruisers, 13 destroyers, and 12 corvettes. Let's change that by building uh, one more corvette. And then we can't upgrade this spaceport just yet, which is fine. Okay, so let's take a look. What are we doing? So these guys right next to us, obviously they are expanding way more quickly than we are, which is fine. Uh, research complete in living state. That is cool. Got some extra influence going on, hopefully. Okay. Uh, 
Okay. System survey complete. Um, what do we want to do? What do we want to do? I don't want to do energy. Okay, so let's do this one. This is related. This is for terraforming. Okay, so that's why battleships is almost done researching. Um, only needs four more months, and then we're done that. And uh, we could also build, uh, or sorry, upgrade to a spaceport level six. Hopefully, we can get a battleship. Um, complete. Battleship construction yard. That would be handy. So that we can dedicate a certain, uh, a certain spaceport strictly to um, creating ships. I think that I think that was the plan. I think that was actually the plan. Which spaceport was going to do that? Though I can't remember. Complete. I think it was this one. Or was it? Okay, so these other spaceports need to be upgraded. Let's upgrade that. And then we upgrade that. Construction complete. Alright, what did we finish here? Strom Prime. We need to upgrade these power plants even further. Uh, the energy grid is upgraded, which is fine. Can I, up I can upgrade this to a hollow temple. Okay. Let's do that. Why not? Then upgrade this frontier clinic. Research complete. Research complete. There we go. Battleships is done and standardized battleship patterns. Let's do that next to build the battleship assembly yard. Perfect. Okay, so now I'm just going to chill while that research carries out. Let's check our other planets. Let's up and upgrade these power plants on Kambibi. Uh, check out our home planet on Rihi. Upgrade these power plants as well. There we go. Definitely need more power. Construction complete. Okay, so these are done. Oh, Kushana class destroyer. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just having a. It looked like Kushan for a moment, like uh, one of the species in what's the game Homeworld, which sounded pretty cool. I was like, oh, okay, that's neat. Society research. Leader leveled up. System survey complete. System survey complete. What do we got going on here? Capella. Okay, so these are the systems over there. They're just finishing up. Good. Finally, it took so much effort to get my science ships to go that way and not to keep going this way towards this United Buvondan autocracy. These guys don't like us. They don't like anybody, actually. Very, very unfriendly. So, uh, we're, uh, I think it was this Markab. We were going to colonize Markab. Habitability 75%. Not that great, but, uh, we could colonize this. It has a lot of tiles on it. It's even got one for a Betharian power plant, which creates a lot of energy credits on a single tile. Uh, so, we'll colonize this a little later. And that will be our shipyard, where we build all of the uh, assembly yards. And uh, we'll build our we'll build our uh, military ships there. Okay, so uh, let's. Can I build a battleship yet? Requires a level six space port. Duh. Do that. Level six space port, baby. Lightweight, baby! Yeah. Killer. Okay, power plant threes are up. Complete. Cool. Construction complete. Alright, those are done. How about the other planet? Kambibi is doing okay. And then Rihi is doing great. So let's go ahead and check out uh this planet. So we've got a basic science lab. We're going to want to make that an engineering facility, I think. Uh, first things first, though, we'll upgrade the power plants. Construction and this Construction Strom complete. Prime is done, so we, now we can go ahead System and build complete. a battleship. 
Very cool. Very good. Very nice. What does a battleship look like? That's a cruiser. Battleship. It doesn't look much different from a cruiser. In fact, they look about the same size, even. Marinth class battleship. All right, let's check on a new design. Battleship. Uh, so let's pick some some sections. Yeah, System broadside, artillery, and hangar. Okay. So we'll go with our artillery bow just for funsies. Broadside core. Uh, artillery core. Hangar core. And carrier core. Huh. Okay, I'm gonna have to admit, uh... Oh. Okay, that is cool that there's little weapons on those side platforms there, as you can see where the System little cursor is. Complete. But uh, I'm going to say right now, not really a fan of mammalian ship designs. I am under underwhelmed. Yeah. Not, not that, it, not that I think they're bad. It's just personally they, they don't really appeal to me a heck of a lot. Eh. That's all I have to say on the subject. Construction complete. We can actually get another battleship, so we'll do that. And then the next one pull it to seventy nine, so we can do another. Cruiser and a Corvette. Construction complete. All right. Okay. Uh, science lab, engineering bay, definitely. Now what? Uh, I can't quite System remember what we were going to do on this planet, but we're going to build another science lab here. That's good. You guys keep you guys keep uh, keep doing that. Othethi star hegemony, and we here we've got the pious Hathgum Union. There's got to be at least one more alien species we haven't discovered yet, because this seems like a lot of area where there's nothing. I'm not sure we'll bump into them. Okay, so still just building up Strom. Strom Prime. We could colonize Strom 4. Planet modifiers. 25% extra minerals. Cool. Okay, so what is the special project over here? Space amoebas. Let's research that. Let's look at this. Skill five or higher. Okay, that's what that is. For the precursor. The precursor. Uh, what's it called? The precursor event project. chain. That's what it is. The space amoebas. The name is stuck as the pronunciation of the former. The proper xenotaxonomic denominator is too unwieldy for the average Sutherian. <laughs> There are potentially military applications of the graceful patterns of circulation apparent in the flagella's movement. All right. System survey complete. We'll just watch our fleet build up a little bit. 2,200 fleet power. Nothing fantastic, but enough to maybe go take on new contacts. 
The Latchax Commonality. Let's take a look. Well met, alien friends. We are the Latchax Commonality. A nation built on the principles of peaceful coexistence and individual freedoms. The cultural achievements of your species have greatly impressed Prime Minister Ababa Uvilive, the current head of our government. Hostile intel sapphire lurkers. How strong were they? It doesn't doesn't quite say. So there'd probably be about three thousand on fleet uh, on fleet power. Just because it has a habit of lowballing when it's giving you that number. Construction complete. Uh, what do we finish here? Oh, that's done. Okay, you need to go there. Actually, better yet, no, stay there. Go here. Complete. And you go there. Okay, so we can upgrade this to an engineering facility. We've already got one. It can upgrade to an engineer engineering facility too. Blah, 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 blah. Speaking is difficult. System survey complete. Blind brain is about the earth's life. And then I don't talk much. Okay. So we're at max fleet capacity 2425 for our fleet power. Uh, do we want to go take on pirates? I kind of do. No, well, sorry, not pirates, but... Research complete. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. Recruit no leader. Gale's speed. Oh, that's one I haven't seen before. Interesting. Let's uh, pick that. Why not? Okay, research complete. Ecological adaptation. Very good. Psy warriors? Really? Uh, we'll do that in a minute. Okay, what do we got here? We need to do a new tradition. We've already got all of expansion and discovery, which is great. So, let's do... Let's do diplomacy. Right on. Diplomacy, that, that way we can maybe get on with our neighbors a little bit better. Any new uh, modules here besides synchronized defense? Nope. That's fine. That is fine. Okay, engineering facilities. We need to upgrade these. doing agenda scientific leap good <laughs> spend 250 influence to immediately hold an, an election all right making much on the resources front, but that's okay. We've upped our growth speed a little bit. All that jazz. Oh man, I just cracked my neck really hard. That was painful. <laughs> All 
All right, 2,640 on fleet power. You figure we can uh, go take on those... Uh, System survey complete. Those whoever they were's? Wouldn't hurt to try, right? Ooh, two research is complete. Let's take a look. Uh, it goes vapor refining. Done. Good. Okay, so let's go with... Uh, Fluid fleet templates, and then we just finished standardized battleship patterns. Excellent. Uh, so what does this do? Garanthium mining. Ship hull points plus 10%. That would be kind of nice. Quantum missiles would be pretty good, too. Uh, but let's go with the Garanthium mining, because that's a very short one. And now we're full on influence. Eh. Don't know what to make of that. Uh, what's this science ship doing? What the heck? You... Construction complete. Excuse me, you are supposed to be automatically exploring. Okay, so where was that? Oh, there's the latch axe commonality. Yeah, I, I had a feeling that they were uh, somewhere in these unexplored regions. These untapped regions. It's very, very interesting. Oh, we have bad guys here. What's this? What do we got? Pirates. Delicious pirates. How about these guys? We got a bunch of... Oh, these are the uh, shard type of bad guys. How many of them are there? There's quite a few. There's four different little fleets over there. That's pretty crazy. Okay, these guys. We could probably take on those dudes if we bring the fleet there. Which I think we will probably go ahead and do. Okay, how are we coming along? Somebody just died. Alright, assign scientist. We need a new. Oh, here we go. Maniacal. Or expertise new worlds. Eh, we'll go with maniacal. Much prefer that. Yeah. Stick with that. Okay. So, uh, let's see. What do we got? Uh, our fleet capacity is maxed out. Uh, not a hell of a lot of fleet power, but let's give it a shot. We're going to go ahead and tell these guys to... Fight in the name of the Sathari Glorious Empire. The Glorious Sathari Empire. Wow, I got that backwards. English is hard. Look at our battleships go. Rawr. I will admit, uh, it does look a lot cooler when you have a fleet, a diverse fleet of ships as opposed to just one big fleet of a whole bunch of the same ship. Because I'll admit that's what I'm doing with my Zaxoid Collective Uh game plan here where I have 1100 or sorry I have uh, what was it yeah 1120 fleet capacity with like 200,000 fleet power and they're, they're just all battleships they're all identical <laughs> uh, let's see here oh okay advanced mineral processing impulse thrusters uh, unlocks component impulse thrusters Let's go with the advanced minerals processing. I like that more. Okay, here we go. What do we got? Okay, 2.3k versus... Okay, we barely eke them out in overall fleet power. Just barely. But let's see what happens here. Oops, don't want to pause. Let's uh, slow down time. There we go. Here we go. Coming in on the attack vector. This is, this is the slowest game speed that I moved Hostile it to right now. Engaged. Hostile fleet engaged. That means somebody is shooting. It's probably these guys. I, if I recall right, the guys that we're going up against have a really long weapon range. These uh, crystalline entity kind of things. Right now, our guys are just launching their strike craft. That's what these little tiny ships are. I can't remember what I made... Equipped with strike craft. There we go. There's our large laser cannons shooting at extreme range. Boom, 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 boom. 
Bow. Bust him up. Pew, pew, pew. Now, as they get closer, you'll see a lot more laser cannons being shot. Okay, see, their weapons are retaliating, too. As, it, as I said, they have a really long weapon range. Right now, only our large lasers are shooting back at them. Because they're the only things that can uh, match that range. How are we doing? Not so great. We've lost a couple Corvettes already. There we go. Now our guys are starting to close a little bit. Getting some more weapons brought to bear. Our dest this destroyer here just fired, so that tells me that I think some medium weapon, la uh, medium laser weapons are in range now. And Corvettes should be shooting. Should be seeing small lasers fire as well. Right now it's just the big ones. There we go. Taking them down. Pew, 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 pew. Still barely eking them out in fleet power. I think we're going to have a pretty, pretty beat up fleet after this fight. Oof. Brutal. I'm losing ships like crazy. We've lost all of our Corvettes. Alright, let's speed this up. Pew, 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 pew. This is way better. Come on, get him. Fight them off! Bring them down, Legolas! System survey complete. Oh, it looks like we eked out a little bit of a lead now. Come on. Here you go. Most of our destroyers are gone. We're down to two. They've still got several cruisers, though. Pew, pew, pew. There we go. They, we've destroyed a cruiser. Oh, we lost one of our battleships, even. That's bad. That is bad. We're down to six ships. They have more ships. But we have if more fleet power. Start. Can can we take them out? Can we? System survey complete. One of our science ships encountered more hostile ships again. Come on. You got this. Okay, there we go. We're starting to eke out a big, big win here. We're down to four ships, but we're taking theirs out pretty quickly. So they're losing a lot of firepower as soon as they, we drop one of their ships. There goes their destroyer. There goes one of their cruisers. Situation log updated. There we go. A battleship and two cruisers left. That's it. Ouch. That is brutal. Okay, so where are, where are my science ships? Let's find our science ships. There's one there, and the other one is... Where the heck is my other one? That's where that one is. Are they both in the same... They are. Okay, well, you need to get out of there. And, uh, come here. Research that project in the system. Please and thank you. Okay, so the first armada. Good battle. Man, you guys... You guys got massacred. Like, there's there's nothing left of our fleet. That is very unfortunate. Yeah, these guys got pretty beat up, too. This guy is almost dead. 577 out of 1,600 hull points. This guy's got 713. What do we got? Long period of growing support. More outwardly egalitarian. That's great. Our battleship down to 780 hit points out of 2,400, so uh, less than a third of its total hit point value. Like that was that was quite the fight. Anyways, let's uh, get them back to one of our home systems with the spaceport, and so they can go repair. There you go. They're on their way back. So one of our science ships is making its way back to uh, investigate the debris field that was created from that fight. Namely the ones by the crystalline entities. So while that's going on, ooh, research complete. What do we get? X-ray lasers. Good. Okay, so now, uh, what can we get? Don't need mine and drone lasers. I don't care about that. Uh, better point defense? Nah, we'll do the 
enhanced combat computers. It's better. Increased weapons damage by 10% for battleships. That's what we want. Okay, so we have a lot of work to do rebuilding our fleet and whatnot. Uh, but I don't want to do that anytime soon. Unfortunately. I can't believe how badly we got decimated there. That was brutal. Okay, what can System we build? Uh, we'll just leave them alone. Okay, so we'll do... Uh, let's do two more battleships. And... Uh, two more cruisers. Then we'll build... Uh, let's just build a bunch of corvettes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. And that's it. We are out of minerals, pretty much. Repairs complete. Good, good, good. So, we'll... We'll build up our... Well, we... La, la, sorry. With the, with the ships I just queued up, we'll rebuild our fleet a little bit. They still won't be terribly strong. Uh, but that's perfectly fine. Uh, where is our science ship? Are they getting close? Yep, they're getting close. Right there. Not too much longer before there was, they uh, complete that special project. Hopefully that makes them level up. Okay, so let's go back to... Do I have a frontier outpost here? We do. Oh, yeah, it was... Okay, uh, now I remember why I put that frontier outpost there. So that we can still control those three systems right next to it. And get those uh, get those resources from it. Systems now I remember. Complete. See, sometimes I forget, but it just takes me a moment. And I'll remind, I'll remind myself. All right, let's get this colony ship going. Um, Strom, you... Uh, you were doing what? We had a plan. We had a plan for this planet. And I forget what it was. I feel really dumb right now. But I'll tell you what. We'll just uh, build a mining network there. We need to up our mineral production. So we'll start with that mining network. You move down there. I don't need you getting food. And then we'll build a mining network here. Or a mineral processing plant? No, not that's pointless. There's only going to be one mining network, pretty much. So, forget that. That's a bad idea. We're losing food. Research Interesting. Complete. Did not expect that. There we go. Advanced mineral processing. That's good. Okay, so what do we get for Aurelium mining? Explosives weapon damage plus 15% if we control one of those. Nah. Okay, so let's take a look-see. Uh, improved strike craft is pretty cheap. That'll help improve our fleet power, so we'll go with that. Alright, it's it's uh, just a little bit before 8 o'clock here, so I'm going to stream for about 20 more minutes and then call it a night. I know, super short. I'm not too happy about it myself. Uh, but I'll make up for it. Okay, are you already done? No, you're, there's no way you're done building the freaking thingamajigger. It was the colony ship that finished. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We are going to, what you hear, enter orbit for now. Do not colonize yet. We need to build up the buildings on Strom Prime first. Debris uh, analyzed. We obviously, debris analyzed. What did we get? So, regenerative hull tissue plus 10% progress. Crystal infused plating plus 10% progress. And then we've got 15 points of physics research and 5 points of society and engineering research. That's not too bad. Not great, but not too bad. I'll take it. All right, go back to automatic exploration, please. And you're going to go way over there. All right, that's perfectly fine. Fleet order cancelled. It cannot Research find complete. any further unexplored systems. What? That's a load of crap. It's only saying that because the leader died. Oh, somebody else died again. Both of my science ship scientists died. That's convenient timing. 
Um, okay, so let's go ahead and do... Let's try this psionic theory. I don't know what this does, but we'll figure it out. Good time to learn. Alright, mining networks. Improve, 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 please. And uh, after that, okay, I'm going to plop your butt here and your butt there. After the mining networks, I've got some hydroponics bays going to get our food back into the freaking green. Um, and both my science ships need new scientists, so recruit a new one. Let's see. What the? Really? None of them have anything to help with surveying. That is really, really, really lame. Uh, well, let's do this guy, Expertise Industry. You go in that one. And then you... Uh, expertise Voidcraft. Bleh. Alright, Field Manipulation. There. That'll work. Okay, so, Manage Automatic Exploration. And then this science ship. Automatic Exploration. Please go ahead and do that. How are we doing on Strom Prime? This mining network's almost done. There we go. Okay, I can't upgrade any further, which is good, so I'm going to start the hydroponics base. Hydroponics farms, excuse me. And I'll put one in each of those food tiles. And then we'll finish off the planet with two more uh, two more power plants in these two bottom tiles that don't have anything on them just yet. This place is producing negative seven food. That's fantastic. System survey complete. Grassroots administration. Huh. Plus 20% energy credits. Wow. Uh, so let's go ahead. Infrastructure projects. Kick that off. Get these buildings built more quickly. Oh, we can adopt a new tradition. Excellent. 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 So what do we want? Uh, this one here, dynam blah, blah, blah. dynamic ecomorphism increases our habitability by 10%, which isn't bad. And then we can unlock the visitor center in the next one, which is actually a pretty nice building to have. It creates energy and unity. Unlocks diplomacy, form federation. I'm not too worried about that just yet. So let's go with the dynamic ecomorphism first. Good. Okay, so, uh, what, do we have any edicts active? Not really. Crystal sonar. Doesn't really say anything. Drone bounty. Energy credits per fleet defeated. Okay. So this instantly surveys systems that have a crystal System entity. And this one gives us energy credits every time we def defeat a fleet of the mining drones. All right. Uh, can't really say... I don't know. They're kind of just bleh. Both of those are kind of just bleh, in my opinion. Bunch of crystalline entities over there. Well, that's why we're building our ship, our fleets back up. Excuse me. Our one military fleet, our little dinky military fleet here. Oops, wrong system. Looking for Strom. There we go. See, they're, they're building up. Slowly, but surely. Probably just got a bunch of Corvettes left to do, right? Yeah. That's fine. We got a bit more money now, so we can do a few more cruisers, I think. Admiral gains trait. Hanan now has the fleet logist logistician. So we'll do one more battleship. I forget. Uh, something has strike craft. Is it our? Is it just our battleships? I don't think so. It is. 
It is just our battleships. That was a lot of strike craft in that battle for only so many battleships. We didn't have very many in the fight, and yet I saw quite a bit of strike craft. I don't remember having that many, but whatever. Whatever. All good. Okay, so is this guy fine. just orbiting? Ooh, 10% uh, failure risk. Yeah, do it. Research complete. Oh, what did we finish? Improved strike craft. Yeah, baby. Crystal infused plating. Ship hull points plus 5%. Well, let's take a look see. This one's cheapest, so we'll do deep, spa deep space stations. Unsolicited mapping. In in intercepting the distress signal, the JD Ketra the Bright sends a probe down to the volatile surface of Upstoth. It seems an unregistered freighter recently crashed on the planet. Whatever it was carrying has been reduced to as an ashen sludge. <laughs> but some data from the navigation computer can be recovered and survey data for the system reconstructed. System Alright, cool. Complete. Advanced strike craft will be available. Construction Good. complete. Construction complete. Alright, so let's upgrade the hydroponics farms. Get us back in the green for food production. <sighs> I will admit that colony ship does look kind of cool. <laughs> I don't know, it's just, it's just the freaking, uh, the military ships that I don't really, I don't really, uh, they don't really appeal to me. The military mammalian ships don't really appeal to me. I don't, I don't like the look of them. I don't know why. So, I mean, like, here's an example. The Corvette, let's go with the look of the torpedo boat. It's pretty bleh, bland. And then the other one, it looks the same. I don't know why, they just, they just look kind of bland and kind of goofy, in my opinion. My professional opinion. Because <laughs> my opinion is totally professional, right? Gunship bow. And then we've got the picket ship bow. And then we've got the artillery bow. Okay, so let's try the rear picket ship stern, interceptor ship stern, which looks the exact same, and then gunship stern. I can't put my finger on it. And then we'll do a cruiser. So we've got artillery bow. Uh, let's change it up and try the torpedo bow. Oh, that's very small. The broadside bow, that's even smaller. All right, hangar core on the cruiser. And then we've got artillery core. Construction broadside complete. core. And torpedo core. So let's stick with the really small pieces. Broadside stern. And gunship stern. Okay, so let's stick with broadside stern because it looks smaller. Mr. Joe. That's a very small looking ship, I gotta tell you. Tiny. Go away. And then uh, let's do a battleship. We've already looked at these, but I want to do it again. New contact. The Allied Tendrajun colonies. Okay. Ooh, hello, giant mushroom. Well met, alien friends. We are the allied Tendrajun colonies, a nation built on the principles of peaceful coexistence and individual freedoms. The cultural achievements of your species have greatly impressed Prime Minister Pugleish, the current head of our government. They are Federation builders. They are xenophiles, they are peaceful, and they are materialist. Gotcha. Okay, so broadside, bow... We've looked at this before. Artillery bow and hangar bow. Let's try a hangar bow and a, not a hangar core, but a carrier core. System survey complete. And we'll do a broadside stern. A rivalry between the o Othethi star hegemony and the allied Tendrajun colonies. This will significantly worsen their diplomatic relations. That's not a good sign. 
This will make things harder to declare peace between everybody, I think. Construction complete. That, okay, that, I'll admit that does look kind of cool. That ship right there. System the one that I just complete. designed. Can I do it with a different core? Will it still look cool? No, that just looks bulky and weird. And then the hangar core, yeah, that looks pretty nice with the hangar core. Broadside core still looks pretty good. Oh, broadside core looks the best so far. That is a cool looking ship. Crystal ball. Blah, 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 crystal ball. A significant crystalline presence in the Kazabius system. Evidently some kind of den, or at least a hub of crystalline activity, such as it is. Kazabius is home to a crystal construct, unlike any previously encountered. The construct exhibits several properties associated with the crystalline entities, but greatly exaggerated. As long as it remains undisturbed, we can study it remotely from Rihi. Okay, so... Let's pause for a second here. We're going to go to that science ship, and it's this thing. This is the first time I've seen these things in game, but it's Crystal Nidus. It's basically a big crystal hub. Pretty crazy looking. And look at all the fleets in here, too. Pretty strong fleet power. Like, we're going to need a single fleet. So this one's about 5,000, and the rest are... And then the two are 2,000, so that's 9, and then about another 5,000. So yeah, 14,000. We're going to need a fleet with about 20,000 fleet power to uh, safely take these guys on and destroy them. Crazy looking. But anyway, situation log. So the crystal construct available. Take a science department with collecting and collating data relating to the unique crystalline construct. So we'll, we will research that. That will unfortunately put a hold on our extended combat algorithms for a little bit here. It was mostly done, I think, but that's fine. We can wait it out a little bit longer. How far away is that? That's, that's a ways away. Like halfway across the galaxy from where we are. There's quite a few hostiles in that area over there. Okay, so back to Strom. We should be done constructing those constructing those hydroponics farms. Okay, we are. So uh what was next? We were gonna do power plants. Power plant there. And a power plant there. Okay. So what do we have for ships in our fleet now? We've got four battleships, Reset four cruisers, complete. 16 corvettes. Deep space stations is done. Good, 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 good. Okay, so what, what next? We can't do advanced... Uh... Advanced strike craft, because that option is gone now. So why don't we do crystal infused plating? It's cheap and it's already partially done. 18 months for that research. Good. Governing ethics shift in the Buvandun commonality. Ah. They've finally embraced the, a faction that makes them more pacifistic. Okay, cool. System survey complete. Okay, it's about 10 after 8. So I'm just going to stream for about another 5 minutes and then shut it down. Unused buildings. Yes, I know. Upgrade that power plant. That's fine. What's this? Rivalry. The allied Tendrajun colonies, colonies has declared the Othethi Star Hegemony their rivals. So the one guy was like, hey, you're our rival. And now the, and now the other guy is going, hey, you know what? You're our rival. 
Xenoscience Department on Rihi reports that they have concluded the remote study of the crystalline construct. Again, the sheer lack of observable behavior exhibited by these entities makes it difficult to draw any solid conclusions. However, the physiological properties continue to intrigue. The study of the construct has allowed our xenobiologists, in close cooperation with our materials engineers, to begin to emulate the advanced reconstructive properties observed in the crystalline construct. Cool. So, uh, crystal forged plating. We have gained that tech research option. And it's already 25% done. Very good. Very nice. I think we're researching it right now. No, crystal... F okay. Crystal forged plating. This is crystal infused plating. So we'll probably see it after. We're almost done psionic theory. I'm interested to see uh, what that branches off into. Because it said it will add to additional research additional research options I should specify System so this power plant's almost done we'll queue it up to upgrade as soon as it finishes there we go Research complete. Well, search complete. There we go. Psionic theory is now done. Um, let's see. Regenerative hull tissue. Huh. I don't really want that, though. Uh, let's go with the local hypercommunication so we can get the hypercoms form. That'll increase the generation of our unity. Not only in the building itself, but across the planet. It adds a planet modifier, which is really nice. Because more unity is good. I want to adopt as many of these traditions as quickly as possible. That is done with generating unity. Unity! Okay, so spaceport. Let's build a few more cruisers. One, two, three, four. There we go. How is construction going? Just about done. This pop is almost done growing, too. So, Only two pops left to grow on the Strom, the planet of Strom Prime, excuse me, which is excellent. There we go. In fact, it started, uh, started growing just there. Construction complete. Okay, construction complete. Let's upgrade these power plants. That's it. That's all. And now, I think, is a good time to start colonizing what will eventually be our spaceport. Oh, shit. Wrong button. Durr. Okay, so where do we want to put this? Where do we want to put this? I, I don't even know. Uh, you know what? Let's just put it... This is kind of not really the best choice, in my opinion. Let's put it right up here next to the... Um, where the Bitharian power plant's going to go, so that it generates more energy credits. Markup, spaceport, planet named. People are just declaring rivals on each other, like, left and right. Holy crap. Crazy. Okay, so what do we got here? Um, in progress. Colonization begun. Perfect. Okay, so let's go to... Uh, I still don't want to do mining drone lasers because they're bleh. Shields. We'll do shields. Shields is good. Okay, so now that that started colonizing, I need to get my construction ship over there, start building some mining stations. Hopefully the borders expand a fair bit. Once we get habitability up a bit a bit more, we can colonize a planet. This planet here, if, if it's not terraformable. Can it be terraformed? No, I don't think so. It's a tomb world. Ugh. Tomb worlds are bad. Factions don't need... Most factions don't like it when you uh, 
colonized tomb world. So let's try terraforming this one. Construction How much complete. Does this cost? 4250 and take 3600 days. Let's start terraforming. Make that into a very, very handy candidate. Okay, so this is done. So this new sack and three by terraforming, if it still has that plus extra minerals, that'll be fantastic. Uh, and we can make a lot of uh, we can make a lot of mineral um, mineral extraction plants on this planet and turn it into a big kind of just generating minerals, and that's all it does. Uh, maybe a power plant or two to generate enough energy credits so that it's not depleting them just from this planet but uh, you know we'll see it'll take a while for it to get terraformed 3600 System days uh, so yeah about 10 years it'll be about 2291 before that finishes but that's okay Incoming okay so it's been an hour it's been an hour and 15 let's see what these guys want trade deal huh they want to give us energy credits and they want to swap research agreements um, the Husco Covenant uh, let's agree sure why not the Husko Covenant. Where are those guys? Oh, that's them right there. That little tiny group. Right. Cool. Alright, so uh, that's going to be it for tonight. Like I said, very short stream this evening. I do apologize for that. Um, I wanted to stick around and stream for a while, but I got A, I got to be in early for work tomorrow. Uh, and B, I got a lot of stuff going on this week before I go on holidays. So, that's fine. We're going to... Um, so construction on this spaceport is done. That's good. Um, we'll just leave it at that. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and save. And where is the game name? There we go. Stream game two. We'll save. And now we can exit the main menu. Okay. So um, if you if you watch this live on stream and want to go back and you missed a bunch of it, I will have this uploaded to YouTube. Um, either tomorrow or, and it will be, it will be public either tomorrow, uh, or Thursday. So you can, you can replay it then. And if you did just watch this on YouTube, if you'd like to see more Stellaris console edition, or if you'd just like to see me play more stuff, uh, feel free to subscribe to the channel and uh, don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Twitch. If, uh, again, if, the, if you just watch this on YouTube, the links to both of the, both my Twitter and, uh, both my Twitter handle and my Twitch channel are in the, the description below. Those of you watching me live, thanks very much for dropping by. Uh, don't forget to check me out on YouTube. Simply search Mobi Mobius Y. Very easy to come by. And on Twitter, my handle is at Mobius underscore Y underscore games. So we'll see you guys later. I'll be back in several weeks when I come back from my vacay. And um, yeah, we'll talk to you guys then. Thanks very much for watching tonight.